knives galore but how do you know which one to choose <laughs> i have so many knives my friend sarah asked me how to choose one so i decided it was a great opportunity to make this video for her and for you let's check all these out and this is by no means an exhaustive study of knives I'm just showing you what I have and what I've learned from my experience over about 20 years or so as a forager, wild crafter. Okay, I'll show you my first knife. It's very cute. This is it. Aw, look at how big it is. It's so big. But when I was a kid, this was a pocket knife. And this is what we would kind of call a utility knife these days, right? So this is great. It has so many things in it that you definitely wouldn't need in a pocket knife most of the time these days. It even has a corkscrew in it. <laughs> and it has a regular blade, which um, I have a tiny pocket knife, which just has this blade, which is great. And actually my professor gave it to me. Thanks Dr. Munson for fishing because I'm learning to fish. And so that's great. And it has some smaller blades. It even has a tiny little saw in there. It has some scissors, which could be useful. Like, let's be real, especially if you're fishing and you need to cut a line. Um, little can opener, I guess, there. And pop a lid on bottle opener, I guess, is that one. You know, I don't drink. I don't know all this stuff. So, so many things that I don't even know what they do. Like you could use this as an awl and poke some hole and poke some holes in leather. There is a screwdriver tip and um, hmm, interesting, just like a Phillips head, not a flat head. And there's a nail file. It's just like fun to see what all is in here, really, honestly and that i don't know if you know what that is let me know you could use it to like thread a needle so um so many different things in here and you could carry this around you'd have everything you need maybe depending on what you're doing but it does take up a lot of room in your pocket so fyi i personally like a lot of the time a smaller super duper simple knife so this is a gerber my partner just happened to have it laying around and um it just has one simple blade it's pretty sharp you could sharpen it if you want to it's kind of an all-purpose blade so if i was just going on a hike thought i might find some mushrooms or who knows what else it's always super handy to have a knife around. So I guess my simplest answer that I could give you as to what knife should I carry around is what are you going to be using it for and what do you like? So it's not as simple as it could be, but there are a lot of variables there. So it's good to think about what you're going to be doing when you go out and then how big pockets are because women's pants let's be real have stupid pockets some of them don't even have any pockets because apparently women don't do real things what the hell <laughs> okay not down for that but anyway i love this small gerber it does also have a lovely clip on it so you can clip it on the pocket of your pants it'll be easily accessible small doesn't weigh very much good for things like cutting mushrooms off trees or out of the ground cutting them off their stock right which is honestly a lot of times what i use my knife for but i use it every day there's so many things from cutting open the boxes after i moved to cutting stems of plants and lots and lots of things so there's that guy uh, this one I keep in my car, actually. I mean, it is great protection, but 
Um, two, if I just forget a knife and I'm out and happen to go on a hike, it is always there. It's a little bit bigger knife. So if we compare those, right, it's quite a bit bigger. It's heftier, it's heavier. So I always want to think about how much weight I want to carry with me, right? Um, but it's also, look at that blade. You gotta love that. <laughs> it's more heavy duty. Um, I feel like it's sharper. It's going to be better for cutting bigger things, right? So like if I was going to cut a reishi off of a tree, those tend to get pretty thick. They're hard to cut through. So something like this, it's going to make that job a whole lot easier. I really like the brand Kershaw. They have a wide array of knives, really high quality. Gerber has a wide array of knives too, usually really high quality. This one, I wouldn't say the top quality, but it is a great, inexpensive, affordable knife. I looked it up, something like this runs around $17, I believe. And um, this one I bought years ago at a knife shop in Kentucky. It was about $30 used. So I found something similar on their website. It runs around $70, but it is a good quality knife. You can use this too to saw through things um, like bark. If you need to maybe scrape some bark off a twig, it would be helpful for that. Or you're trying to just saw through like a root that is, you know, you don't really want to cut a hard root with this knife edge. It'll dull your blade. So good for cutting through things like that. Um, so that one is kind of my favorite all around, slightly more heavy duty knife. And somebody gave this to me last year. As you can see, it's hard to open. You could maybe try and oil that and see if it would work, but it's like in wood. So I don't know if that's going to help. Um, I have seen people love these knives for mushroom knives from this brand, Opinel um out of france and it's a carbon blade i just like honestly i don't want to be a hater but i feel like this is just like low quality but i guess it's maybe made to be more affordable um and there's also of course right a difference between folding blade knives and fixed blade knives so i'll talk about this one in a minute but this is a fixed blade knife doesn't fold um so both have advantages, right? Folding knives fold up small in your pocket and you can put them in your pocket easily. Like this one, it has this kind of like roundish bottom to it. So like, I guess that's cool. Maybe it feels better in your pocket. It doesn't have those sharp edges, but honestly, I just don't love this one. It is hard to open. It does have this thing, which you can turn to, um, cover where so it, it turns like that and it covers this so that you can't do what people hate about folding blades is that they're dangerous like if for some reason they happen to fold accidentally you might cut your finger off that would be super bad or at least give yourself a pretty good cut so it it does have that lock there to stop that so that is a good piece of this but I feel like this blade is just kind of flimsy and again it doesn't open very easily but it is super lightweight it does have that lock so that's great I it is really sharp I will say um so yeah for cutting mushrooms this would be great all right what else okay this is like top of the line my friends at Sassafras Forge made this. It's got a wonderful story. It's got a little sassafras leaf there. He made this handle for me from sassafras wood that has a great story behind it. And I was teaching sassafras school, so it was really special to me. I love the plant sassafras. It's such good food and medicine. Um, and I really like the size and shape of this knife. It's got this little thing here. So technically you could hang it from a strap. Um, sometimes people will get special sheaths 
that don't have like a belt clip on them so you can like hang it from your neck this would be heavy to hang from your neck but you could hang it on the wall right and just to keep it out of the way but this is a beautiful knife again hand forged so these are going to be pricey but i think like if you're really getting into this having a hand forged knife is amazing an amazing present to yourself or to someone else it's super duper sharp and i had a friend sharpen it for me after a while so it kept that blade really well it even has a little sassafras emblem on the knife i just love this knife so much and it can go on my belt with this sheath so i love that about it as well all right now another knife it's not at all like a pocket knife or something that i would use to cut mushrooms but i feel like it's a super important tool probably the second most used tool other than a pocket knife type knife in my i don't want to call it my arsenal because <laughs> it's not a weapon it's not for that but you could use it for that for sure um but don't do that but I will say I carry this on my belt sometimes when I am feeling a little unsafe in the woods and like a little concerned about who might be walking through the woods. So this is a large knife, right? Bigger than my head. And so it does look threatening to people. So if you're a woman, you're out in the woods alone or not a woman, whatever, you can carry this and you will look tough. Okay, so I think it's an excellent idea to have a sheath for this. I love this brand. Um, this is A.M. Leonard, and it is uh, made in Italy. It is super awesome craftsmanship. I first had one of these that had a wood handle, which you can totally get. I think, I can't remember what the price difference is, but... Um, I usually always like natural materials better. However, for this one, I'd really recommend the plastic because what happens with the wood is that it has a seam on the edge where the blade comes through. And if you're doing what this knife, partly what this knife is meant for, which is prying out roots, then that seam will start to come apart and that's no good. The other great thing about this, besides it, the plastic being durable, is that it's bright orange. And so anywhere you put it down, you can find it again. So if you put this down in mulch or like leaf matter and it's wood, it's gonna be hard to find it again. But with it being bright orange, I did see one FYI today that was pink. So I kind of dig that. Oh my God. I'm the queen of unintentional puns. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, but you can see it really easily. So this is mostly made for digging. Um, they really make it for transplanting. It's got these marks on it to know what depth you're transplanting into. I don't ever use it for that, honestly, but, um, I use it for digging roots like burdock and many others. And it is great for that. Um, it, this edge really isn't sharp. So FYI, it's not made for that. That's just made, it's got this, these beveled edges to help you dig easier. And then it has this kind of like serrated saw-like surface to um, cut through things. Again, like if you wanted to cut bark or if you had to cut some fishing line, maybe, who knows? right uh, if you wanted to cut twine and you were gardening and you needed some twine for your gardening bed it would be great for that too like you're tying up tomatoes right so so freaking many options here oh i will say too that am leonard does make the sheath for this oh and this is for cutting line as well so fishing line or whatever you're cutting um but they make their own sheaths like this one this one is from them it can go on your belt um either through these little holes right here or it can just clip onto your belt or your pocket 
and that's great they do really i've coveted this for years but they also make a double sheath so if anybody wants to get me a present <laughs> they make a double sheath that holds this and pruners so that is super handy as a forager or a gardener fyi so just to recap we have this hori hori or digging knife hori hori is the japanese name for what this is um also called a digging knife we have the i'm kind of going backwards here we have this beautiful hand forged knife by sassafras forge um i i don't get any payment from them i'm not an affiliate i just really think that they do great work but fixed blade knife right doesn't fold looks really cool on your belt and super sharp and strong and no risk of it folding uh we have the mushroom knife here and it's okay probably more affordable you can find this in lots of gardening stores and places like that um, it has this lock on it that you can make it less dangerous with uh, it's pretty sharp so good for mushrooms maybe slightly lower quality a little hard to fold and we have the Kershaw knife here. So more heavy duty, larger, heavier, does have the clip on it, more expensive. We got the tiny Gerber and great multi-purpose, really pocket knife. That's not super multi-purpose. It only has one blade, but uh, it, it is great for so many things, including mushrooms, but general purpose knife there. And we have this super cute military style pocket knife with so, so many purposes, right? But it's heavy, it takes up a lot of room in your pocket, but you can keep it in your backpack pretty easily. Leave me a comment, let me know which of these you have, which you wanna get, which you love, if you have something different, why you like it, why you don't like it. And if you like this video, please like it below, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment. And check out our other platforms. We are on Patreon at patreon.com slash the wander school. And for as little as 10 bucks a month, you can get so much ongoing botanical foraging and herbal education. Uh, we're, of course, on Facebook and Instagram at The Wander School. And our awesome new program, Botany Breakdown, that teaches botany for herbalists, foragers, and everyone else. So you can find all that stuff at thewanderschool.com. Happy foraging. Be safe with those knives. Practice good knife etiquette. See you in the woods and beyond.